Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a very special edition of Grimcast, where we will be covering every single mastery in the Grim Dawn mod, Dawn of Masteries. On board, we have one of our spirit guides from the Discord, Lestat Doc. How we doing, my friend? Are you ready to kick this off? Ready. All right. Uh, we'll basically be going over each mastery with the intent of providing players with general knowledge of what damage types will synergize, what playstyles to expect, and what, if anything, makes the class unique. And uh, just so you guys know, if you miss any of this, I will be uploading this in sections to YouTube for nice bite-sized tutorials. Um, well, without further ado, I guess we should just dive straight in, right? Yeah, go. Uh, Let's go. I guess I guess we'll just go in chronological order here, skipping over Grim Dawn because there's plenty of content out there for that. Um, so we'll just start with uh, Titan Quest here, which has been around for a long time, um, and there's a lot of gear support for this mod now. Yeah, definitely. So uh, we got an item set, at least like on Vanilla, we got at least one item set at level 94 for each of the classes that they all focus on a specific. Uh, skill set like for example for the nature character that i'm playing at current at the moment we have a set dedicated for call of the wild so we can look forward to having at least one of those for each of the masters here in titan quest yep uh first one up here we have um uh defense defense is yep. uh, a very tanky build it mostly uh focuses around um physical damage you can also go with uh pierce of course, because there's uh, plenty of synergizing resist reduction for that as well. Yeah, definitely. So that this is going to be your physical tank. Yeah, pretty and, much. and there's plenty of items to support for him with modifiers to like have like a shield throw build or essentially, you know, I think there's like three different types of builds that you can go go with with, with that. So yeah, exactly. You can go for full retaliation. You can go for shield throw. It's going to be like your old keeper. Exactly, um, and if you ever have a character that's like you, you want it to be super bulky. This is the way to go. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I pulled it up on the um, on the chart. I'll, I'll, I'll be switching back to that here and, and now again. Like for resist reduction, um, you have more physical support than Pierce. Like it's up to fifty on Pierce, and this is that soft cap. But yeah, thirty for Pierce. So yeah, we could do e either of those would synergize well yeah exactly because most of the skills that you get for retaliation builds are focused around pierce retaliation so you gotta yeah. need that to actually pull some decent retail damage and there's actually a lot of uh re retaliation support in the titan quest mod um a lot a lot of the characters have you know retaliation damage and or uh the percent bonus to it so exactly yeah uh next up we have Dream. Dream is uh, primarily a chaos build, as I remember it. Uh, Vitality too, I think. Let's let's pull it up on the chart here. Okay, it's gonna be mostly chaos and ether. So it's gonna be your your. You can do it both ways, either melee or caster. But yeah, you can, you're gonna focus on chaos and ether. Oh yeah. So it that... does have vitality RR as well. Yeah, but it does. Skills are mostly focused to chaos and ether. Yeah, it's got 33 across the board on Aether, Chaos, and Vitality. Exactly. So yeah, it would synergize well with all those, mostly Caster. Uh, there's no pets that I recall. Well, no, that, I take that back. There's, there's the some, Nightmare uh, Pet. Yeah, yeah the Nightmare yep. Pet, yeah. There is a Nightmare Pet. So and, for those and, old veterans from Titan Quest back in the days, you're going to recognize the skills like immediately. Yeah. I'm gonna chart these as we go too, and it shouldn't take me long. Um, but for melee, uh, we definitely have soldier. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on both Pierce and physical on on the melee chart. So so this yep. way, when when we're all done, if you know that you want to play a melee build that's physical or lightning or cold or what have you, you'll just be able to to look at this chart, see all the classes that support that. And then um, you'll be able to just pick from that list, which is going to be yeah. super nice. I wish this was out when I first started, you know. 
Yeah, instead of looking at 53 masters and going, what the hell do I do with this? Right. Yeah. I mean, as far as defense goes, it could be ranged if you went with the shield throw build with the modifier, because I think there's a shield and a mace that offer pretty good support. Mm -hmm. uh, it could exactly. be ranged, so but I'm just going to leave it as melee, I think, because that's pretty situational. Yeah, so yeah, it's situational, and it also comes into play like at level 94, so because it removes the cooldown, until then it has 3 seconds cooldown, so it's not something that you can, you're going to use. And then we have Dream, which we said was Aether, um, Chaos, and Vitality. Which I'm, I am I played Dream, it was in my last vi video, uh, with Occultus. And I did a CDR build for Doombolt, a full K Chaos build. Man, is that fun. Yep. It was yeah. so fun. And, and like, you know, like its, it's survivability was way up there because of all the attack damage con converted to health. And that's something that we should tell people too about the survivability that relies mostly on attack damage converted to health or... Or what, exactly. You know? or regen and stuff so like we'll that. Kinda, exactly. We'll kind of go through all that as we go. All right. Next up, Earth. I'll let you take this one away. You got a pretty nice Earth build. Yeah, so that goes back to my Crusader and Earth build. So this is the jack of all trades, so, so to speak, of this build of the mod compilation. So you can play it as a, either as a fire character, you can play it as a physical damage character, you can play it as a ranger, ranger caster, melee. So it has all kinds of skill support and all kinds of damage support. Yeah, it so has. It's pretty um, much. It, it's got pets too. I mean, it pretty much goes all the way and across. The board. One of the strongest pets in the entire mod compilation. So summon, summon card dweller. So it it reaches like 60 k HP. It has damage absorption. So it's it's really really strong. As far as Earth goes, um, it has thirty. Fire, 30 chaos and 20 physical on the RR so th those are all things that it could synergize well with Definitely. exactly um, so should we put that on every single one would you say it's primarily melee or primarily caster or, or like all of the above range and pets so it's gonna be primarily so it can be used as, as caster and melee range it is re really situational so it can synergize well with uh with demolitionists from the vanilla classes as a range of build oh, yeah. but most the, the primary focus will be uh, either caster or melee all right and do you know of any good gear support for this one so you can do a rupture uh, build so that's going to be your primary melee build you can do a flame surge build as well, so you have sets for both. Plus, you have some decent amount of uh, amulets and rings that also give you skill modifiers for those. There's a pretty good, uh, there's pretty good item support for a pet build, right? Like for the uh, what's that? Golem the core dweller, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of item support for this, for this mastery. Yeah, and, and Earth is what you got. You know that was it two million or three million DPS on. Two million, yeah. So with uh, with Crusader. Next up, we have Hunting, which is obviously a range class by the look of this guy holding a bow. There's a lot of don't, traps in this as well. Don't, yeah, don't don't put it on that box, but only because it it's a really 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 effective melee class. So because of the of the mod, it adds the spears uh, weapon type. So it's it's some sort of uh, modifiers for swords. And it does really, really good melee damage, especially with takedown and gouge. You know, I've so, never had a uh, a hunting build, honestly. But it does. It it actually supports a lot more than you would think, too, because I I would have thought you know pierce and physical and bleeding, but it also supports poison and elemental, lightning. which is fire, lightning, exactly. and cold. So like, it pretty Ex much supports almost everything except for chaos, vitality, and aether. Pretty much like a necromancer. That's the only thing that, that it won't support. And but, one thing that really makes it unique among all of the classes is it has like a player-based pet, but it's more of a, a dummy. And it's called Monster Lore. And you cast the Scarecrow out there. All of the monsters surround it. It's got like a million health, so so they're not going to kill it. And then it explodes on them. And it's so satisfying. And it's and it's literally one of the, I I would say one of the more genuinely ways to play a range class because you're actually standing back shooting things. 
opposed to all, exactly. all, of, all, all of the monsters being right on top of you and you're shooting them at point blank range. Exactly. It's something that it's worth actually investing a couple more points than just drop the single point and have the plus to all skills deal with it. So the more you invest in it, it should work better from what I understood. That monster lore has a, a taunt on it too, which is why all the monsters exactly. sur surround it. But it's like the taunt mechanic's not as good as it should be, I don't think. But it's just like your yeah. opinion, man. <laughs> the cool thing about hunting as well is because uh, Asylum added uh, bows to the game, to the mod. And there's a lot of different varieties to the bows that actually change the damage types around for hunting. So if you want to pair it with Trim, I think, if I remember correctly, there's actually a bow that does chaos damage. Alright, next up. Ooh, nature. That class yep. sucks, bro. There's no support in it. No support. Sucks. It's <laughs> super slow. It doesn't kill anything. <laughs> yeah. I can show you a bit how, it, how much it sucks. All right, here, let me switch over so the the audience can see ya. Um, we, we have somebody claiming on the chat that it's OP, but I, I don't know, I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> uh, nature supports um, poison, I know for sure. I'm sure it supports a little bit of physical damage, right? Yep. Yeah, uh, poison, physical it. damage, and elemental damage. Nice. Yep, and, and it has pets, um, a lot of casting stuff on there. And there's a lot of heals too, right? So you could actually yep. become an effective healer you know, for your pets or companions. So or, you or you actually have an immortal player. pet. You have an immortal pet, which is the thing that's following me. That's Kodama, that actually does heals in a, on a regular basis. Yeah, so it's it pretty much stopped up. At soft cap, it's around 35 for um, elemental resistance and poison, and then 30 for physical which isn't bad and titan quest yep. is one of the more balanced mod as most of the skills and abilities and even a lot of the gear was based on um the scaling of the grim dawn stuff so yep. you'll see a lot of skills that are very similar but they look much cooler um in the titan quest they're way they were way more effective for the, the masters that they belong to so the problem with the vanilla classes is even though you have some effective skills a lot of them don't really uh, scale that well, or don't really play that well with that with that master. For example, Nightblade, because uh, due to the lack of not having a default attack replacer, it actually limits you to either using a component that gives you default, or uh, pasting it on a on a soldier. Otherwise, you're not gonna get it that much out of the of the mastery. That's something that doesn't happen with the Brim Quest class. So they're really well balanced. Uh, with the skill set and stuff like that, so it, they're well, uh, much better thought of than the actual vanilla classes, in my opinion. Thanks. So, Asylum did a really good job there. I'm gonna go ahead and place these over. Since we're still talking about nature, I mean, again, so the, the item sets, they does have a really, really good support and a lot of modifiers. So, for example, you can actually do a full physical caster a build if you want. The last nature class that I did was actually nature rogue. It was a casters, but because of all the acid RR, so you have up to, if you combine it with some devotions and some items, I got up to 170 re acid resistance reduction. So it was really, really OP. Nice. Next up we have, um, let's see. Rogue, which we were just discussing, pairs yeah. very nicely with um, nature. nature. It's gonna be. It also it's, has it's... some uh, vitality support, right? Definitely, as, yeah. As I recall, um, it has pets as well. It's got yeah, it's got a little bit of support for everything. It's got um, you know like class A resistance reduction for fifteen across the board, but mostly chaos, vitality, pierce, and bleeding. Yeah. And, and I'm thinking it's mostly going to be, um, you know, a melee style type build by itself anyways, if you use its its own skills. And it's got the nice gimmick of some different kinds of traps. So you could make like, you know, 
some sort of exactly. trapper or even like a uh, SWAT team guy, something along those lines. So. so you can actually do one of the archetype builds that you used to do in Titan Quest, which was the Brigand, where you can actually entrap enemies and then just put the traps, then just have the traps kill the enemies. So that works really, really well in in Grim Domain as well, except for like super bosses and stuff, and stuff because they're immune to CCs. But for uh, trash mobs and stuff like that, it's a really, really good setup. Um, next up, we have Spirit. So you want to oh, talk about Spirit yeah. now? Uh, actually wanna... not. We're actually going to save this one for last. We're going to cover all of the Necromancers all together. Yeah. For context. Because there's so many. All right. We have um, Storm. Which, you know, it's kind of obvious yeah. what, what damage type it's going to be. It's going to support lightning. Um, I think I think some you, some cold. You have vital yeah, you have some cold and you have some vitality damage in, heart of fro in the Heart oh, of yeah. Frost uh, uh, buff. That's right, because you can do like a vitality spin the wind build. Which is yeah. pretty interesting, I think. I think that's super interesting. Yeah, the, um, it actually has really high resistance reductions to all by itself. So for elemental, you got 60 right off the bat. For aether, 60. Yep. Vitality, 60. And then everything else, 25. It can pretty much support anything in terms of damage, but primarily your best bet is go with either aether or vitality or some sort of elemental type. Yep, definitely. Because that's the thing, Storm pretty much plays out on the strengths of Shaman in the vanilla classes. Just with some additional, so you can actually play it as a caster more than a, yeah. a melee if you like. You have Fret of Boreas, which is Yeah, there's not much, much for um, melee here. It's mostly caster and pet, I would argue. <clears throat> yep. Um, I think it has some damage absorption somewhere. Yep, right there. It has a um, toggle skill as an exclusive skill for damage absorption, so that's always nice, too. Yep. Uh, let me put it down. I know that we yeah, have a couple I, of build guides over at the server that actually did a really good storm build. So yeah, yeah. there's a real nice um, spin the wind build that was um, with the monk and storm because the monk has exactly. an aura, so you don't have to stop to cast your debuffs, and that is uh, the way to go if you're going to do a spin the wind build because as soon as you stop spin spinning, because a lot of them require well they're reliant on attack damage converted to health as soon as you stop spinning you're you're, you're you gonna stop healing so exactly that's kind of counter counterintuitive there yeah exactly but uh yeah if you can find something with a good aura you are good to go so this pretty much supports everything it's well i don't want to put it on everything i'm gonna put it on everything that it had um 60 on yep and then pets too because pets are super awesome, man. <laughs> yeah, we love our pets around here, yeah. don't big, we? Big old pet players over, over here. Well, I have two to two point two k hours in, in Grim Dawn ever since the start, and I haven't played a single full pet build. So that just pretty much tells you everything. I wanted to um, get a uh, you know like a pet expert on with, with us to, today, but. Uh, Witty wasn't available, so blame him. Send your hate yep. mail. All right, that is good. I got pets and caster for that. Um, make sure we're still, all right, still good there. Um, and lastly, for Titan Quest Warfare, and he looks just like a gladiator. So that's kind of what you can expect with this. It's going to be a melee build. It's going to be around physical, pierce, bleed. Yeah, I mean, especially no, it, it bleed. So this wind. is going to be that. This is going to be the best build, uh, bleed uh, build that you can actually pull because you have up to 50% uh, bleed resist, resist reduction on hard cap. But the nice. thing is that you get a lot of flat bleed damage support for mode the exclusive and the, the double dual wheel uh, tree so this is one of the the other masteries that actually play uh, pairs really well with mercenary so if you want to well, do a double uh, dual wheel build yeah i was gonna say it probably pairs re really well with the barbarian too exactly yeah 
Hey everybody, unfortunately the chart got kind of messed up about halfway through, so I recreated it. Here's everything we've covered so far. We will continue this series next Saturday on my Twitch, so make sure you're there to check that out and ask us any questions. Link in the description below. I will continue to upload these edited segments week by week. Come check out our Discord if you haven't seen my video on the contest we're running. We are running a hardcore randomizer challenge. There's still plenty of time to get in on it as it'll run until October 1st. The winner will get a special title in the Discord. Hope to see you there. Until then, stay excellent.